Hi, my name is Felicia, and in today's episode of the New Day Artistry Introduction to Ceramics, we're going to be covering how to throw a straight-walled cylinder. So, before we can officially start throwing, there's a little bit of posture stuff we have to talk about. For one, you want to be as scooted close to the wheel as possible, with your legs pressing against the outsides of your splash pads. Next are your arms. Elbows should be in your hips anytime you're touching the clay. This keeps your arms grounded so that you're a little bit more in control of your clay. I'm working with just a little bit more than a pound of clay right now. So we're gonna take our ball that we've wedged and as hard as we can and as close to the center, we're just gonna take that ball of clay and go. Alrighty. So then, with a bucket of water on hand, we're gonna get our hands wet. Always a good point. Generally want the wheel to be on. So you're gonna take your finger, it's been wet, and just smear that clay to the surface of your wheel, or in this case, a bat, because I want to be able to take this clay on and off the wheel without having to cut it off. Okay. So you always want your clay to be wet. So yeah, to start centering with your elbows and your hips and hands out front, you're going to be following a couple basic principles. The first is pulling up. So you want your hands to be cupped together and you're just going to squeeze the clay while your wheel is moving and just pull it up. Once you have it at a point, you might want to get your hands wet again. And now we're going to be pushing it both down and out. Just want to make sure that your arms and your hands are nice and firm. And you'll repeat those couple steps of pulling up and then pushing down and out until your clay doesn't really look like it's moving on your wheel, even though the wheel is spinning. When you're beginning, this might take you five minutes, 10 minutes, it doesn't matter, as long as ultimately your clay is on your wheel and it's centered. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit because I've got a, a little bit of clay hanging off the edge there. And now we're ready for step two. So we've got our clay nice and centered, just checking to make sure everything is still good. So at this part, we're gonna open the clay. So you wanna take your hands, you can do this one of two ways. Either with your hands cups together on the outside and your thumbs pushing in, or if you prefer, you can use your non-dominant hand to support your dominant hand and open with your two fingers on the dominant hand. So you're just gonna be pushing down with a nice, even pressure on whatever two fingers you chose to open with. And keep pushing down until you're about a half an inch up from the bottom of the clay. Which may seem totally arbitrary if you're just starting out, but I'm gonna show you a technique to test that. So with your pin tool, you're gonna to take it, turn your wheel off, and just stick your pin tool in the bottom of your clay. Then, use your index finger on the dominant hand and slide it right up until the top of the clay. So you can't go any further on the pin tool. And then just lift it out. And now, you know, you can see, about how far away from the bottom of your clay you are. I'm gonna open it just a little bit further, but as a beginner, it's always better to have a thicker floor because you can trim that off later. All right, so now that we've opened our floor, we're gonna take a sponge, just make sure there's no water pooling at the bottom, and we're gonna spread it. So, I like to do this with my thumbs locked together, non-dominant hand supporting the outside of the clay, and my middle and index finger pulling in. With your hands at about six o'clock, again, make sure they're wet, 
you're just gonna pull the clay towards you. Nice and easy. You don't have to open very fast or very far. With our first cylinder, you wanna make it about three inches open. A good way to test this is your basic round sponge. Should be able to fit in it, just like that. So now we are about as open as we wanna be. Since we're making a cylinder, an important characteristic we have to make sure we add is a 90 degree corner on the floor of our clay. So I'm gonna take a 90 degree rib tool, this is just a basic wooden rib, and I'm gonna support it and hold it right at the part where your wall meets your floor. And as you press in, you'll get a nice 90 degree there. Alrighty. Once you've opened, spread, and gotten that floor in, I'm just gonna clean up the wheel, and you are ready to start pulling a wall. So with this, I'm gonna make sure your hands are clean, your wheel is wet, and then you're going to take your two hands. Non-dominant hand should be on the inside, dominant hand is on the outside. Your non-dominant hand, fingers are gonna be curled a little bit higher than your outside fingers because you have the floor here when you first start off. But with that, you're just gonna start pulling nice and even straight up from your wheel. Once you've pulled once, always check your lip. Make sure you're paying attention to it. You want it to be nice and smooth. Wet your clay again and pull another. Every time you wet your clay, make sure you don't have a pool at the bottom of your pot. And just keep pulling until you're at six inches or you notice that your walls are getting thin. Because if you can't pull any farther up, don't risk compromising the pot just for the sake of height. A short pot is still just as good as a tall pot. If you notice that your cylinder is starting to get wider as you pull, one thing you can do with nice and wet hands is just gently with your fingers at a kind of a W. You've got your thumbs crossed over and your index fingers attached to the clay so you have four points of contact. Just take this and really gently just push in a little bit as you slowly rise up the clay. If you notice that that top edge is giving you some trouble, you can always just gently squeeze it in with your hands touching the lip at all points. But make sure you check the lip, just nice and even, pinching down on the lip and tapping on the top. And we'll go again. As your piece gets taller, you might notice that this arm starts to float a little bit. That's okay. If you need the leverage to get inside the pot by lifting up your arm, go for it. But make sure your, non, your dominant arm, the one that's down on the outside, is still in your hip. Right, this will probably be the last pull for this guy.
just gonna bring it in one more time so we've got a really nice straight cylinder. And if you notice up here, as you're watching this pot spin around, this top lip is no longer perfect. That's what happens if you're not paying special attention to the lip of your pot. But, this is actually a really important thing to know, you can always chop off the lip of your pot. If it's not going to work out for you, if it gets off center, if you've got a bubble, you're just going to take your pin tool and with your hand resting on the outside of it, I have to be careful with this one because it flips in, with your hand resting on the outside and your inside hand supporting the lip of the wall, you'll just take it and gently press in until you cut all the way through the clay. And then again, always make sure you smooth out your lip. And then the last step, some might think it's a little bit cheating, but I think it's perfectly valid. We're just gonna take our rib and holding it on the outside of your clay. Just press in, support in with your inside hand drag up. That ensures we've got nice straight walls. There's no random bits of clay hanging off. And the last step that we're going to do with this guy is just cut a little groove with the tip of your rib tool. That'll help us get it off the clay, the wheel. Make sure you don't have a puddle. No. I don't actually have a ruler on me, but <laughs> this is a six inch cylinder. Normally, your next step would be to cut this pot off the wheel. However, because I'm actually going to be using this one in our next video about how to shape a cylinder, I'm not going to chop it off now. If I was, I would take my sponge and get some nice puddles of water going all the way around the wheel. And then with a wire tool, just slide it with the wire pressed against the surface of the wheel slide it all the way underneath. At that point, with dry hands, you can lift your pot right off the wheel. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. With those three basic steps of centering, opening, and pulling a wall, you'll have your cylinders down in no time. Once you've got your favorite six inch cylinder thrown, check out the next video in this series on how to shape that cylinder and turn it into a nice curvy vessel. We'll see you then.